Hello everyone and welcome back to another Fam Two Cents cooking video. This one is going to be a quickie video uh, showcasing three ways that you can make a grilled cheese sandwich. Now, these aren't the three ways you can make a grilled cheese sandwich, but these are three ways uh, that I decided to showcase in this video. Uh, one, uh, the first one that I'm showing you here is spreading the butter on the bread first. Um, now, what this video intent was was to be a kind of a buttered versus mayonnaise video um, it didn't quite turn out that way uh, because I kind of cheated with the mayonnaise and I still added butter to the pan um, and I don't think you're supposed to do that so uh, what this video ended up being is just three different methods in which you can make a grilled cheese sandwich and which one uh, turns out the best um, Believe it or not, even though it is very common for people to spread butter on their uh, bread first as, while making the grilled cheese sandwich, that is not the way that I make them, uh, typically. It's not the way that I do it. Um, I think the bread gets a little weird when you do it that way. Um, so I typically don't like to do it that way. What I often do is put the butter in the pan first, and once the butter melts, to kind of soak the bread in it a little bit, uh, one at a time and then I'll cook it regularly from that point um, but as you can see here uh, the first one I did was spreading the butter this one is the mayonnaise and I'm spreading that on the bread right now um, and the reason that I kind of panicked <laughs> at some point through this is when I put it down immediately um, it it seemed like it just started burning like the mayonnaise on the bottom instead of a uh, you know serving as kind of a, a a lubricant so it won't stick it just seemed like it was just making it stick uh, and I probably should have just left it alone um, instead of adding butter to kind of stick to what I had planned on doing but uh, you know I didn't want to burn it or end up wasting it or something like that even though it's still as you guys will see in a moment here it still ended up just a little bit burnt so um, regardless the same outcome pretty much came anyway so uh, like I said, as you can see here, I'm adding butter to the pan. I probably shouldn't have, uh, but it is what it is. Um, as far as the results of this test, uh, I don't know, man. Like, the reason that I don't like to add butter to the bread beforehand, or uh, the reason why maybe the mayonnaise thing might not be for me, is because it doesn't seem to evenly cook the bread. Um, and I and maybe cook is not the right, right word, but maybe brown is the better word that I'm looking for. Um, when I use my method, which is the method you'll see last, uh, this one right here where I put the butter in the pan first and then soak up, the, soak it into the bread uh, one at a time, put some more butter down in there, soak it into the next piece of bread, and then put the cheese on there and, and, and do it that way. Um, it's it's a bit more even the browning is more even you know what I mean um, I don't know why that is but it just seems that way and that that kind of crispiness that I really like from a grilled cheese sandwich is uh throughout like it's all over and it, it, it the whole experience is that uh, but with the mayonnaise and the one where you spread the butter onto the bread directly before you cook it uh, before you place it in the pan it seems the outside gets that kind of crispier texture but the middle is very soft um, similar to like regular bread and I don't really like that I like that kind of crispy texture to be throughout the bread um, but I mean you know there it's still a grilled cheese sandwich it still tastes like a grilled cheese sandwich so um, I think it's kind of you know it's it's up to you but as you can see here on the the last grilled cheese sandwich the one that I'm cutting right now the crispiness is throughout but on the other two you can see in the middle it's a little lighter um, and and therefore kind of softer or mushier I guess in the middle and I don't really like that so um, I guess if I had to pick one of the three it would be my method the one on the farthest left uh, they all still tasted great so I mean whatever <laughs> grilled cheese uh, the, the taste isn't all that different to me for me it was more texture than anything else um, so how do you cook your grilled cheese sandwiches let me know if you are a spread the butter on the bread first type person or if you're a 
a put the butter in the pan type person or if you're a mayonnaise type person let me know and maybe I'll do down the road a proper mayonnaise versus butter video because um, this just didn't turn out to be that but um, I'd like to hear your thoughts down in the comments let me know what you guys think